and welcome back. I'm going to make what's called overnight oats. So I need to think about these today because it will take till tomorrow for them to be ready and delicious. You could do this in the evening, ready for tomorrow's breakfast would be fine. But while I'm in breakfast mode, I'll get tomorrow's breakfast ready as well. This will actually make breakfast for three people or for the next three days. I quite like preparing it for my lunch boxes. This is wet because I had water in it, making the porridge dry it out properly. It's not going to be good. There we go. So to make our overnight oats, again, I'm using my one cup measure. The one cup will give me three days worth of porridgey mix, my overnight oats. So one cup of porridge oats into our mixing container. Uh, I'm using my yogurt making pot thing. You could do mix it in an old yogurt tub. We're going to use some yogurt with this mixture. You could use that as your mixing pot. Um, you could mix it in a Tupperware box or a kilner jar. Whatever you have available, something with a lid. If you don't have a lid, mix it in a bowl or a mug and cover it in cling film or tin foil. So, uh, one cup of porridge oats for our overnight oats. To that, we're also going to need Sorry, let the racket get a spoon. One cup or one measure, whatever you're using as your measurement. So it's one, one, and we're going to be a third one, which is milk. So I'm just using a plain, I think it's a Greek style, but just a plain yogurt, thick, floppy yogurt. So one measure of yogurt. Oh, I've got a spatula. That there wasn't prepared for this was I so cup of porridge oats to which I'm adding a cup of yogurt you could use a fruit flavored yogurt if you like um, I quite like the plain yogurts you can add other things to it later scoop scoop so to our porridge oats and yogurt I'm now going to add one cup of milk again you could use nut milks if you wanted, if you have an intolerance to dairy, that would definitely be something you'd want to do. And then mix it all up. Scoop, 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 scoop. A good way to mix it, depending what you've put it in, give it a real good stir and a, a, a really good mix. I'm going to screw my lid on. If you had a Tupperware container, you clip on your lid nice and tight and give it a shake. That's it, done. I'm going to pop that in the fridge now and it will be ready for tomorrow's breakfast. That's I used a cup as my measure, so that will be enough to serve three people or do three days breakfast. It will keep perfectly well in the fridge easily three days five i reckon to be honest as long as the date on your milk and your yogurt is going to last those three or five days i definitely wouldn't keep it any longer than that we're getting past its best options and you don't need to three days worth of breakfast all ready to go brilliant so i'm going to pop this in the fridge now and we'll be back with you tomorrow to show you what to do with it just eat it it's delicious but there's all sorts of options. We'll see you tomorrow morning for breakfast when this is ready. So that's breakfast sorted. Oh, hello, Lou. <laughs> what? No, you can't be on the worktops. I'm cooking. Yes, you can't be on the worktops. I'm cooking. Meow. You going out? What are you doing? Want to go out this way? Here we are back the next day with our overnight oats have spent overnight in the fridge. So I'm gonna 
open them up and give them a quick stir. They're really thick and globby now. Thick and globby is not a good description. Thick and creamy. <laughs> we'll give them a bit of a stir. They don't need much. And I'll offer you some serving suggestions with your overnight oats. So as I said, we should be making enough for three portions. So I've got three bowls ready. And pour it in. It is a very porridgey consistency at the moment. Oh, I got my... There we go. I actually had my spatula at the ready to get every last drop of this delicious goodness. In we go. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Oh, dripping it on the worktop already. There we go. Overnight oats at the ready. Now, they're fine as they are, ready to go. I've got a bit of a sweet tooth, so I want a little bit of sweetness in it. Work me funny. You could add a sprinkle of sugar, or I'm going to put some honey in this today. Ooh, a drizzle of honey over the top. I'll leave that in there and deal with it in a minute. Okay. So, a teaspoon of honey on the top, ready to go. I'm going to put, oh, if I can reach, a sprinkle of pumpkin seeds on here as well to add a little extra crunch. And a bit of protein. You can't see the pumpkin seed. I hoped you could. I don't want to tip too far. I'll tip it out the bowl. So a few seeds and some honey. Lovely porridgey mix. Ready to serve. We could also add some fresh fruits to our mixture. And I have some fresh raspberries. And a few blueberries. Sliced banana. You can't see. I need to tip it up. There we go. Can you see? Not really. <laughs> Definitely need to change my camera angles so you can get a good look. We'll bring you over in a moment. And I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat that end bit. Eat it now. Mm. A couple of slices of banana. Now you may be saying, I've got half a banana left. What am I gonna do with that? You could put it in a fruit smoothie. You could mash it up and add a bit more yogurt, make a dessert for lunch. All sorts of lovely things you can do with half a banana. More sticky. Cooked off. But wait, banana sticky. There we go. Wipe my banana sticky fingers and I'll wipe up that bit of oats I've spilt. So how much you can see. I'll bring the camera over the top. You can get a good look at all these beautifully presented breakfasts. That's another serving suggestion. Now if you don't have fresh fruits on hand, depending on the season, time of year, your latest shopping trip, you may not have. Tinned is a really good option. I've got some tinned peaches here. You could use prunes or pears or mangoes or raspberries and cherries. Anything in a tin is going to be absolutely wonderful. Now because these are quite sweet, I don't want to add any sweetness to my tinned woo, fruits. So a few tinned peaches. This makes enough. The volume we used the other day, a cup full of oats, a cup full of yoghurt and a cup full of milk, makes plenty for three good breakfasts. Your tin of peaches, in this size anyway, will certainly do you three good breakfasts. I'll put that, I now have sticky fingers again. Good job I get my cloth. So a few peaches. And I'm going to put a few sunflower seeds in with our peaches, just to give me that little bit of crunch. And a sprinkle of sunflower seeds on top. Little extra protein, little bit of crunch. Keep me going for the day. Can we see? Whoa! <laughs> And a spoon. I'll bring you over. We can have a look at these three delicious breakfasts. Yum yum. Take my lid. Tidy up the mess in a minute. 
I also, because I harvest my own fruits and I've got some poached pears I made last year. I've got some apple, which has been stewed. So a spoonful of stewed apple on the side or a few of my own poached pears is a, is a good option. So if you're harvesting your own fruits and making your own preserves, a spoonful of your jam added to this would add that little kick of sweetness that I personally like. So I'm going to bring you over and you can have a better look at what's going on in these bowls.